In his travel throughout the continent, he carries with him artifacts of a mystical tradition of ancient Mexican tribes. Rosenberg Balboa is an interpreter of Aztec and Mayan calendars, as well as codices of other pre-Hispanic cultures, one of hundreds of divination tools in the world. The Tonal Powali is a very precise mathematical system written in a book called Tonal Lama. It gives us some fundamental basis that tell us which is the energy of each day, energy that is manifested in each person. Everyone has a specific character that will tell them apart from the rest. By providing your date of birth, Balboa consults a tonal lama and interprets its Aztec symbols. The readings of codices reveals the assigned mystical animal, and it's followed by the choosing of good fortune rocks, ending with a cleansing ritual using instruments of nature. The consultation is a complement to science and religion, says Balboa. He considers them to be extremes that fragment humanity, altered by the modern world. The sacred knowledge is based precisely on self-discovery, to know yourself, and that is what we are doing with people, for them to reclaim themselves. But what leads someone to want to seek these alternative mediums to the established institutions and that as a result keeps the ancestral traditions? Usually human beings seek an external factor to rely on before making a decision, a factor that will condition or support that decision. Dr. Rodriguez says if that reliability often yields positive results, that individual will continue resorting to that consultation. Alfredo Murillo is an example of how spiritualists like his mother introduced him to that knowledge as a child. But it wasn't until he bumped into an astrologer in Mexico City while working as a banker that his destiny was revealed to him and was convinced of its power. My life completely changed after that, and it was due to astrology. Yeah. Like in the Aztec calendar, the reading of the tarot is an interpretation of symbols of its particular culture, coinciding not only in predicting the future. They don't come in search of a spiritual path. They come with a problem, and that is what the consultation is for the reading of the Spanish cards, to have the opportunity for people to make changes. However, there are fraudsters and imposters who claim to be astrologers and healers, creating confusion and social rejection of these divination practices. There have been a lot of people with good intentions and great intuition to be able to do these types of premonitions. There is also a lot of fraud and manipulation. Dr. Rodriguez recommends to get a reference before a session, pay attention to the language of the oracle, and make sure you're not being told what to do or to follow any recipes. It is also a bad sign if you're being made dependent of their services. So if you go to someone who helps you reflect and be conscious about what is going on in your life, helps you set a plan, and for you to take responsibility of yourself, then that is the right person to go to. To search for the path to find the time and the moment to change your life. And I think it's been accomplished. I believe it because they come back. Oscar, porque regresan. But what does the Christian church have to say about this? Las prácticas del tarot. The tarot practices, witchcraft, occultism, it's all not something adopted by the church. Dado por la iglesia. Also, what happens when these practices are used to do evil? They said that would be the biggest regret of my life, and that they would always torment me and haunt me until I died. Join us tomorrow for the second half of this special report, Breaking the Taboo. Oscar Morgan, Fox 2 News.